Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your operating system hard drive and then uh, put it in another computer and run it from there. So we're going to use a program called Macrium Reflect. So there's a free version. When you uh, go to the website you just have to put in your email address to get your registration code. So you'll have to put in a real address and then you could download and install it and you'll use that code during the installation. So when you open it, it'll show you your disk layout. So we're going to take the C drive of this Windows 11 computer and we're going to clone it to this 120 gig drive that we have here in this computer with unallocated space. And then we're going to take this drive and put it in another computer. They do have a tool for the uh, pay for version. So if you're using uh, hardware that's really different, then it'll help you kind of get it working on that where the free version doesn't do that. So this might come in handy if you want to just clone your disk from a failing disk to a new disk to be used on the same computer. Or like I said, you could try it on a different computer and see if the hardware works. All right, so once you get it going here, so we're going to click on this one to select it, the C drive with all the partitions, clone this disk, and then select disk to clone to. So pick disk two, and then next. And then you can schedule it if you want. And then some advanced options, which we're just going to leave on the default here. I'll click on Next. And it shows you the summary here for the clone. No schedule, no name for the partitions it's copying here. And just click on Finish. And you could run it now or save your save the backup definition file for the future, which we don't need to do because it's just a one-time thing here. And click OK. Mm -hmm. And so then this process will run. This will take about a half an hour, depending on you know how big your disk is. So I already have this uh, done here. So what I'm going to do is cancel this, and I'm going to take the drive out, put it in a different computer, start it up, and then we'll be right back. OK, so now we have the disk from that computer put into another computer. Uh, this is a virtual machine, so the hardware is similar, so we're probably not going to have any problems here. So one thing we're running into is your pin is no longer available due to a change in the security settings on this device. Click to set up your pin again. So if you're using a pin and you put this uh, drive in a different physical computer, you might have this problem and have to reset this up as well. Okay, so it wants the password for the Microsoft account. So if you put this uh, drive in the same computer, let's say you were cloning it just to put it back, you know, to replace a failing drive, you probably won't have to go through this. But um, since this is different hardware technically, I think this is why it's going to do it. Okay, so now i got to go to the email and get the code. So I'll be right back for that. Okay, so i got the code, so let's verify. Okay, so now we're going to reset our pin here. So you could use the same pin you were using before. It doesn't have to be new. OK, let's log in. OK, so we're logged into the uh, new computer with the cloned hard drive. And you can see we have the Macrium software and the desktop's the same. So it looks like everything worked there. Take a look at File Explorer and see what we got. Program files, user folders. Oops, everything looks good. So once again, just open the software, pick your source drive, pick your destination drive. Obviously, make sure it has enough room. And then you could either take it out and put it in a different computer, assuming you're not going to have hardware problems, or you could use it in the same computer if you're replacing a failed drive or if you're, you know, if you're just trying to use a bigger drive, uh, that's one, another way you could use the software as well. So I'll put a link in the description. You could download it, install it for free, and try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.